Snyder feels like our hundredth interview. How was it playing your last that quarterfinal game, knowing that you know it's win or go home? Right. Uh, that's what you wish as an athlete, as a competitor. Obviously, Cornell was a great team, so there was a lot of anticipated, you know, uh, sort of emotions leading up to the game, and obviously going into the game, playing in Annapolis for in the state capital and representing the state as the University of Maryland was an honor and obviously the fans came to support so it was just great to get the W and obviously to move on to the final four. So. How great of a little cross venue was Annapolis. That was special. It's an, I that think was it's special Saturday. One of the best venues to play as a, a college lacrosse player obviously just being in the state capital but it's just there's so much tradition in that stadium and it's such a great venue to play in so it was awesome. You know we were telling the freshmen I was like this is the best venue you can't wait to be out there so it was a lot of fun. Yeah all right tough question for you. Yeah. You've been targeted. I mean, you've been, you know, I asked Petromala after the game at Hopkins. I said, what'd you do to slow down Connor Kelly? He said, I put five guys on him. And that's about what it was. Yeah. And you're getting the best from everybody. And a similar thing happened to Rambo last year, mm -hmm. toward the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And you kind of stepped up. Here's yeah. my question. How proud are you? of the other guys who've stepped up when you've been targeted like that? It's been amazing. I can't thank them enough. I, I've said it all, um, all year that I'm playing with such a great group, not only on the first unit, second unit, anybody that comes on the step on the offensive field, they can help us in any way. And obviously, if I'm being targeted, uh, you know, my guys are going to help me out as well as me helping them out. So it's been it's been an awesome experience to play with these guys. We might have a young group, but I think uh, they have a lot of experience under their belt and they've handled it so well. So NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know-how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on-prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. How great was it watching Bubba? And uh, Jared worked together, yeah, and man. Logan Love come in and yeah. work together, and mm -hmm. you were kind of like observing. It did mm -hmm. what Tillman said you didn't want to kind of get in the mix because they were doing so well. Right, they were doing an amazing job. So I mean, I sort of try to take what's presented to me. So uh, whatever I can do to help out our offense, I will do uh, and try to do it to the best of my ability. But to see that on that day, just all the freshmen and the young guys, you know, take forth and sort of. Uh, do so well. I was like, hey, let you guys play. And uh, they'll you say, feel like kind of the proud older brother or something? Yeah, I guess in some way. I was like, hey, you guys are killing it. Just, get, I'll just feed you guys the ball, and you guys do your thing. And obviously, Bubba had a, a historic day for him, points-wise. So it was an between awesome Logan game. and Bubba. Did you see that kind of development? Yeah, that they had freshman years that were probably better than yours and Rambo's. Oh, a hundred percent. And that's what I, I look at. I look to them. I don't look at them as freshmen. Honestly, you're younger guys. We're like a, a culmination of like our offensive unit is like old and experienced. I think I'm playing with such smart guys. So at any point, I will trust them. And any situation so it's been an awesome experience so I trust them in, in, uh, in every capacity so they've done a, such a great job but uh, this was no surprise for me uh, how well they did on Saturday or how Sunday. crazy is it four years four championship weekends it's amazing uh, it's, tell, tell us what Tillman does for quarterfinals what right your quarterfinal games have not been yeah. games right each, each each one of them was a right. semi blowout. Yeah, I think it's uh it's a mix of a lot of things, a lot of different variables. Obviously, the first week we're always going through exams, and it's always a sort of a, a different matchup. There's always this different sort of uh, feel to the game in the first uh, game. So obviously, coming into the quarterfinal games, I think each year we've tried to prove ourselves that like. We may, whatever seed we are, we're trying to prove ourselves like we are the number one seed. And I thought we did that this past Sunday. But it's sort of been every year that the first game hasn't gone as planned. So we've tried to prove ourselves and sort of take it as a sort of little motivation to do well in the next game. Yeah, it's tough playing that like Robert Morris. You yeah. don't know anything about him. You probably hardly ever watched him until it came to game time. Mm -hmm. 
they were a hell of a good team. Oh, they were a great team. And that's the best thing about college across today. It's just there's so many great teams across the board. And uh, any team that's going to make the playoffs, you know, they're going to give you a, a tough battle. So, obviously, Robert Morris was the team that we uh, were dealt. And uh, they came out flying in the first half, so give them credit. Have you heard from Rambo and Heacock a little bit in the past few weeks? Yeah, uh, Heacock was actually at the game uh, on Sunday. And, obviously, Matt's been reaching out. And, you know, they're giving us so much support. Uh, so, I can't thank them enough. They, you know, they're uh, they're the, like number one fans right now. So, so it's coming to an end, yep. and uh, you know how we want to go out on the high note. Of course, it's only one thing: it's championship. Nothing yep. else matters. Uh -huh. But uh, look back at your four years. How great a decision was it of yours to come to Maryland? It's the best decision of my life. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, wholeheartedly. My brother went to Hopkins, and obviously, going here was. Uh, a little bit of a question just because him being at Hopkins but I looking back at it now is the best decision I've made and I've just made so many great friends but I've had such a great experience so how about wearing that number one this year what did that mean to you it's been amazing uh, I can't thank coach Hillman enough for giving me the chance to represent everybody that's played them for me Walter Shannon Chuck Catalino Whipple Rambo just it's all star it's just amazing amazing guys amazing players so just the ultimate competitors and I try to live up to that and emulate them to the best of my ability, so. Well.